Well, hello everybody, and uh, as you can see here, I've got a bunch of parts that I've prepped. They're all dimple, deburred, and really they're ready for uh, my primer. And uh, included in here is the the uh, brake pedals. I have the the pieces for the the cutouts on the floor. So I got my access panels. You can see the baggage door here. Uh, and then the frame for the baggage door, it's all in here. And one of the things I thought I'd do this time is, uh, is actually show you what I use to prime this. And uh, it works very well. I find it works uh, extremely well, actually. I've done this now with a lot of parts. They come out green. And so the first thing I do is I use this, uh, this pre-coat. And what you use this for is basically I put it into a little spray bottle. As you can see here, I spray that all over the surface of the aluminum. And then I use a uh, Scott Bright pad to just kind of scuff it up and clean it. And then once I've got that done, I hose it down. And once you hose it down, let it dry. And then once it's dry, I'm ready to actually go and uh, put the, the primer on it. And the primer is actually a two part. It's a Acozo Noble is the name of it. Um, there's the, as you can see here, this is the uh, epoxy primer component B and then the component A. And as you can see here, this is going to be green. And uh, what I do is I mix these 50-50 uh, and uh, I spray it on using my compressor and just a, uh, a spray gun that I got from uh, a Harbor Freight. Works extremely well. Like I say, uh, you know, I spray it on, I do both sides and it dries and it's, uh, it's, you know, it's dry to the touch very quick. When I actually go to use this, because I've got all those parts, I'll, uh, I'll certainly see if I can record some of it, kind of show how that works out. But, uh, you know, I like it. And then for whatever reason, it appears to make the surface a lot more durable, certainly very scratch resistant. And you can see in here, as an example, this is the color, the color is slightly off from the, the camera, but it, it comes on in a green color. And that green is, um, it's very durable. You, know, you can't scratch this off. If you use the, um, you know, the normal kind of rattle cans, it spray, scratches off very, very easily. On here, this is pretty tough. You'd have to scratch that off with, uh, with a piece of metal or something to get it off. Uh, so I find it, uh, it works really well and you can see here on the inside you know i drove all the rivets and dropped some things and did whatever but uh none of it's come off so it's it's worked extremely well anyway i just thought i'd go and record that and i'll show some of that as i uh, as i put it on step one complete these have all been uh, sprayed down with the cleaner the pre-coat and then uh, hose down afterwards just have them out here drying now before I get ready to do the actual priming. But uh, yep, all prepped and ready to go. And here we have it, all primed now. Both sides, didn't take very long. It takes about five, 10 minutes for it to get tacky so you can flip it over, but it works out uh, pretty easy. And of course I had a couple of pieces that I had to do on the ground, as you can see here. Unfortunately, I put my stuff away before I got this one done. I never noticed it wasn't finished, so I touched it with uh, the rattle can. It's okay, but uh, it's going to be covered anyway, so it won't matter too much. It's not like it's going to come off very easy, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, that's an update. Catch you later. Bye.